I bet your jaw drop if you ever see me, bitch. I'm her, 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 her. She, 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 she. Where are all the masculine men? Right here. Und willkommen neue Video. Also tja, ähm, heute will ich euch zeigen, was ich so alles gekauft habe. Nicht so krass, ne? Hm. So, ich habe dieses schöne Buch gekauft. So sieht's ohne Filter aus, also wirklich scheiße. Gefällt mir nicht, aber ich werde noch so welche großige Stickers machen und so. Aber es hat mir gefallen, weil es innen so krass aussieht, ne? Ich habe mir so welche Kacke gekauft, weil wir haben bald Klassenfahrt und ich kann mir einfach nicht das, diese fette Dingsbums mitnehmen. Also nehme ich mir das. Denn Klassenfahrt sind Handys verboten, darum ja, für Heimlichkeit ist das gut. Tano. In Wahrheit hat keiner gefragt, aber egal. Also ja, ich habe mich gerade selber gedisst. Ich habe mir kacke Stifte gekauft, die gar nicht teuer waren, die sind so scheiße, aber glauben mir Leute, die werden noch gut sein. Also am besten die schwarzen und die roten, die werden wirklich sehr, sehr nützlich sein. Nützlich. Und wenn ihr wissen wollt, was da drinnen ist, müsst ihr bei YouTube gucken. Schreibt einfach das auf und danach findet ihr meinen Account, also meinen Kanal. Ja, tschüss.
screen works the same way as it does for those systems, but Nintendo 3DS comes with an extending stylus. Hello, little stylus. Hello, Mario. Gender. Okay, I'm not used to calling it sex, bro. Mommy, I really like cold. What do you like about corn? It's cold!
Every time he leave me long, he always tell me he miss it. He wanna F F R E A K If you haven't tried drawing beautiful trash art yet, today's the day because anyone can do this. Start with two lopsided almond shapes, scribble messy lines around them, these will be your eyes. They don't have to be perfect. Make sure your irises are not perfectly round, then add pupils, leave a white spot as light reflection. Scribble a line down the center and draw two dark splotches at the bottom, add a small circle above those and this is your nose. I'm adding square glasses but you can choose any style you want. Next, I'll add a small quirky smirk, shade the top lip, and continue into a messy spot of chin scribbles. Add circles for cheeks, finish the jawline, and add ears. After that, you're going to add details to the white spaces, stars, dots, any pattern you want. Finish the top of the head and add any hairstyle. Last, I'm going to add dots and mild shading with a Tombow marker. If you want to know more about beautiful trash, follow my Instagram at Savannalor. Have fun, you guys. I just feel so angry all the time. And what if after everything that I've been through, something's gone wrong inside me? What if I'm becoming bad? I want you to listen to me very carefully, Harry. You're not a bad person. So this is how I do it and I really hope it helps. I use a regular pencil and eraser for all of this. I start off by darkening the silhouette of the drawing. You want your line weight to vary. Typically, the silhouette should be thicker than the interior. Start off thinner because you can always go back and make it thicker. Now we're going to round out any harsh corners. This is what really makes the drawing look soft. For shading, basically what I do is use a bunch of repetitive lines. The closer the lines are together, the smoother the shading will look. For larger areas, I like to use the side of my pencil and start off really light. To draw side profiles. Draw a circle. Make a triangle attached to it. Add whatever this is. Add some curved shapes for the nose, lips, and chin. Add a neck and shoulders. The eye is just as greater than simple. Add details.
you're just going to get older and harder and more alone. And you're going to do everything you can to fill that hole with friends and your career and meaningless sex. But the hole doesn't get filled. And one day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you. But nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. Break from the ads? Wanna break from the ads? Never too wide for you to play on. The ways never cease to amaze or inspire. Illiterate, the signatures bent forward the fire.
understand how I be feeling on that day. for like an art tips or like how to draw people lately so that's what this is gonna be i'm gonna try my best um for me at least don't try to draw the body completely right off the bat like you're gonna limit yourself if you try to make everything correct the first time and it's gonna like hinder you and also draw the face last uh, or you're gonna end up working everything else around it and it's gonna mess you up a lot. Also, don't get attached to things. It's fine to redo entire things that you've completed. Like, it could turn out better, so try not to get attached to things. Um, also, like, I think a good motivator is is definitely like social media for me at least like posting your stuff and people liking it is very validating and it gives you a lot of motivation so look i'll try right now uh i'm working on this right now i'm gonna post it later uh you can follow me and you can follow me on instagram too i'm gonna post it there too bye Thank you.
Every time he leave me long, he always tell me he miss it. He wanna F F R E A K F I knew about this website ages ago. Copy any text. Head to speedwrite.com. Paste and click predict. Unique wording every time. from the ads? Want a break from the ads? How do 
to make your sketchbook thick and creamy and also deformed. Part 1 Number 1 Pockets Two, add tinier pages. Three, little flippy thingies. Four, force your friends to draw color in it. Five, more character backstories than people can handle. Bitch, I wake up, no stylish Fresh as fuck, I put Bitch, I wake up, no stylish Fresh as fuck, I put it on all up, I did this shit Got it fine, all no makeup, and she still look at this shit
Artists have sketchbooks filled with beautiful drawings. Not me. <laughs> Mine is a sad little book filled with garbage. Let's check it out. I mean, this looks like I was trying to draw while getting electrocuted. This just looks like I'm attacking my sketchbook. And here we have absolutely nothing. What? What? What are you? Oh look, an actual drawing. Finally. Draw a girl in perspective. How to use a pencil like the old masters. First, sharpen a two and a half inch lead to a tapered point. Then, hold the pencil to the side and use the very tip of the lead to get into the grooves of the paper. Make sure never to shade using the up and down M motion. Instead, use singular directional strokes. Each layer of shading should have its own consistent directional mark. And switching this direction with each layer helps you really get into all of the grooves of the paper. This will make each layer get progressively darker and less noisy, leaving you with a beautiful, smooth finish.
comment as an Inktober prompt. And today we got this comment, which I'm actually really excited to do because I feel like it's gonna make a really cute sticker. So I sketched it out digitally, that's why this looks kind of weird. But I basically envision it as being like a tall milk cart, and the bunny's just kind of going in a loop of jumping out and then jumping back in. So let's sketch it out. I pretty much never draw little animals like bunnies, so I'm having a lot of fun. They look like little plushies. Oh, I love it. Look at them all. They're all so round and squishy. Now that the sketch is complete, let's start the liner. Well, I made this one's ears too short, so now it looks like a little baby bear. Now I just gotta line the carton. Now I don't even know what bun bun milk would taste like, but I do know that it's zero calories and contains jumpers, thumpers, and snuggle bunnies. And a healthy dose of glitter. Also, if you ever want to give your liner a bit more of a sketchy look, do a slight double line. Something about it just kind of gives it a nice look. Of course, it depends on the art you're doing. I don't know. I like how it looks. And it gives stuff like this milk carton a slight creased look. And now for one of my favorite parts, doing the little like line gradient shading. I could take the time to black out the background, but but like I, that's just kind of like a waste of ink. Dang it. Now I kind of want to. Okay, we have a bit of a compromise. I made these lines around the bunnies in the carton, so I'm gonna fill in this part with black. I caved. I did it. Now I'm just gonna do some last details with my white Posca marker, and it's done! I want to add color so badly, but that would defeat the point of Inktober. But I would like to turn this into a digital print or sticker, and then I can color and make a black and white version. I'm super happy with how all the little details and bunnies turned out, especially that one. If you have any ideas for what I should do for my next Inktober, feel free to comment it, because I'd love to hear your ideas. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and keep drawing. Bye! Here's part three for picking a random comment as an Inktober prompt. And oh boy, I'm excited to do this comment. So I started by sketching it out digitally. The fairy's gonna have these cool ragged wings, as well as a flower crown, and be sitting on top of an inky cat mushroom. So let's start to sketch out the final thing. <laughs> look at it. And now let's do the line art. And before anyone comments that I made the ears part of the skull, I just thought it would look cool. Besides, most of this isn't even anatomically correct, so whatever. It's art, it's whatever. Also, while I'm still learning how to draw skeletons, they're so fun to draw, especially because I like making the bones kind of like floaty. I don't know, I just think skeletons are really neat. Also, I really want to turn this into a tattoo. Tattoo. It's been a while since I've made a new tattoo. If this would interest y'all as a sticker or a tattoo or like a print or something, please let me know because I bet I could do that for this weekend. Oh my gosh. I released my Discord server yesterday. Y'all. It hasn't even been 24 hours. It has over 800 members. That is insane. Okay, I'm going to redraw this mushroom because it doesn't look right. Okay, cool. That's much more accurate. Also, if you want to join the Discord, it's in my link tree, my bio. We'd love to have you. If y'all know what an inky cap mushroom is, look it up. They're so cool. And so are bleeding tooth mushrooms. Coolest mushroom by far. So I finished the line art. But I feel like it's missing something. I want to add color, but it's Inktober. What if I just turned it into a tattoo right now? I wasn't planning to, but I could. You know what, Bet? Let's turn this into a tattoo right now. And yoink. I'm just gonna turn the fairy into a tattoo for now. So I'll go clean that up and then turn it into a tattoo. And boom, I cleaned it up a bit. And I printed it on my tattoo paper from Sunny Scopa. And now I'll just put the adhesive on top. And once you screw up and go back and have to flip the image, you just put it on your arm and boom. Just like so. You just get it wet. And the review. Ooh, it looks so delicate and like a pencil sketch. I'm trying to find a way where I can show it where it's not shiny. It actually turned out really cool. It actually kind of looks like a real tattoo. I might go back and darken it, but I don't know. Well, this video was all over the place today. If you're interested in me releasing these tattoos, or as a sticker or a print or something, please let me know because I'd love to do it. I actually wasn't sure if I liked it or not, but I kind of like it more now. If you have any ideas for what I should do for my next Inktober prom, please let me know because I'd love to hear your ideas. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and make sure to keep drawing. Bye! Salut Aujourd'hui je vais vous montrer comment je dessine. Bon le problème c'est que j'ai plus de feuilles pour dessiner, du coup j'ai pris un dessin que j'avais déjà fait, donc celui-ci. Ensuite euh, je me suis dit bah tant mieux je pourrais euh, faire des feutres. Donc euh, bah, du coup je pourrais m'entraîner, donc euh, là j'ai commencé à faire la couleur de la peau. Euh, bon le problème c'est que je connais pas du tout les feutres, ils sont super cool mais je les connais pas du tout. Donc du coup bah, là j'ai essayé de faire des ombrages sauf qu'en fait j'ai pris une couleur trop foncée, donc ça partait très mal. Là j'ai essayé de me rattraper comme je pouvais mais c'est dégueulasse. Bah du coup je me suis bah go passer au maillot, le maillot c'était pas mieux, j'ai commencé bien, mais quand j'ai commencé à faire les ombrages c'était n'importe quoi. Voilà, du coup j'avais trop la haine, donc j'ai essayé de me rattraper avec du rose, mais c'était vraiment pas mieux, donc j'ai refait n'importe quoi, faites pas ça. C'est dégueulasse, pareil pour les cheveux, je croyais que j'allais faire du marron, mais pas du tout, c'était du vert, c'est trop chum. Vous pensez les lunettes, en vrai ça va j'ai géré, je dépasse dans tous les sens, mais c'est le style, vous en faites pas. Euh, après le orange en fond c'est cool parce que du coup ça fait ressortir le dessin et puis là euh, le liner qui est magique qui va rendre le dessin stylé alors qu'il ne l'était pas de base je vais remplir toute la feuille en plusieurs parties je pense enfin j'ai enfin reçu mon matériel de dessin je suis trop content du coup là j'ai un bloc notes et des feutres donc c'est des micros en 005 et du coup aujourd'hui le challenge de la journée c'est de dessiner sans croquis au préalable donc du coup ça fait que bah, j'ai pas le droit de j'ai pas le droit à l'erreur en fait Genre euh, si je fais un trait de côté, bah, du coup ça rate tout le dessin et c'est un peu dommage Mais c'est un très bon exercice pour progresser que je recommande à tout le monde d'ailleurs euh, Parce qu'en dessin c'est quelque chose d'assez compliqué au début Mais qui améliore la perception euh, de la personne et tout Donc là en l'occurrence je dessinais un personnage donc c'est pour ça que je dis ça 
Donc euh, c'est une meuf qui tient un caméscope et euh, du coup là je commence à faire un petit peu les ombrages en grisant un peu certaines zones avec le avec le feutre. Et puis après du coup j'ai pris mon pro marqueur du coup pour euh, griser mais euh, plus globalement et plus efficacement aussi. Donc du coup là c'est assez grossier et tout et faut avouer que j'ai fait quelques erreurs de perspective et aussi de proportion du coup parce que c'était direct au feutre mais bon pas grave. Et du coup ben là j'ai fait le liner pour rendre le tout un peu plus stylé, griser encore quelques parties et voilà dites moi ce que vous en pensez je trouve c'est pas si mal.